Can you explain to me the impression is anger turned in? Can you talk a little more about that? Um, what do you want to know? Other than that. There are a lot of people that don't deal with their anger. Uh, people are depressed. That's the first time I've ever heard that. A lot of people are holding on to bitterness, offense, hurt, wounds, jealousy, unforgiveness. And they won't talk about it and they won't deal with it. And that's how it manifests. But there's also an aspect in which Part of what the enemy does, especially for those of us that have grown up in the church and don't, we have a problem with admitting that we're angry. He, he, the enemy gets us to think that we're we're hurt, we're disappointed, uh, we're frustrated, <coughs> or whatever, and keeps us from acknowledging that we're angry, and that keeps yes. that allows him to have a foothold. So someone who's severely depressed, depressed all the time. How do I say to him, this phrase right here you just said? I say it very bluntly, and I take a lot of people off. Um, and there are other reasons why depression can occur. But in my experience, I'm finding the bulk of it's that. And it's a very selfish, inward focus. The, the number one treatment for depression is go do something for somebody else and get your eyes off yourself. Actually, I was off. Uh um, depression for nine months, but it was all stress related to my mm -hmm. work, not uh, how I was looking at myself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There are other reasons. A lot of times it's things that are being internalized and we have no outlet for. We aren't talking to somebody, we don't have those real, genuine relationships where we can process what, what we're feeling. And even if we don't have the words for what we're feeling, to at least sit with somebody that can help me sort it out. Does that answer anything? First of all, you can't tell anybody that unless you've earned the right to speak into their life about it, and unless they're asking for your opinion. Because there's a lot of things I see that I could say that I don't have the right to say. God has to open that door for you. I, I'm not against meds. Use meds if you need to use them. But depression medicine wasn't meant for you to stay on for the rest of your life. The key is find out what's going on and deal with it. Use the meds while you need to use them. Now, if that's Nancy's opinion, you're going to find other counselors and doctors who are going to have a different opinion. God gives us spiritual authority when he's brought us through something. And we then have uh, spiritual authority to speak into other people's lives. And another thing you need to know is people who have prophetic giftings and strong gifts of discernment tend to have a lot of anxiety. And if they don't have someone to talk to that can help them explain what they're feeling and how to manage their stuff, <coughs> they can also experience anxiety and depression because they feel like they're losing their mind and they feel like a freak. So that's another source for depression. Um, and I find that all it takes me is one or two conversations with somebody to say, there's nothing wrong with you. I live like that. This is what it feels like. And they're going, are you kidding? I have never met anybody that knows what this feels like. And all of a sudden, guess what? They're out of that pit because they've had a chance to talk and something normalized what they're experiencing spiritually. 